In this session, I'm going to show you how to use the ModRig feature to edit a already made um, character which has already the bones. So, um, firstly, let's just show you how to open up the Puppet 3D window. If you just go to Window Puppet 3D, it's over here. So let's just dock it to the side. Um, so the thing we need is just this one button, Create Mod Rig. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this biped. So this is a character that's already I found found on the asset store. It's just it's got it's already got a um, a avatar set up. So you see on Rig it's set to humanoid, and um, if you click configure, you see all all of the bones have been set up um, using the humanoid. So if you want to learn anything more about that, just uh, check out the Unity documentation on that. But basically, you just need to make sure all the bones are set up. So once you have that, all you need to do is just uh, take him, bring him into your hierarchy. Let's just create a light. Um, yeah, so basically, um, yeah, just click it, click it, and click Create Mod Rig. And see, it's as simple as that. You've created a, a rig. So um, let's have a little play um, with, uh, with it. So you've got the bones. We don't need to have a look at them, so we can just turn them off. You see that you've, um, you've got some nice controls. You've got, uh, you've got IK arms. Um, so and th these are the pole vectors. So you can move them around. So you see, this is these are kind of normal like controls that you, you would do with any kind of animation rig. Um, you can see you've got IKFK blending, so you can keyframe that. You have um, the upper uh, lowest line are like actual splines, so they can actually be positioned and rotated. Um, you've got um, yeah, the legs are also IKFK. So it's uh, it's it's a nice uh, rig to use. Actually, you'll see um, this this. Um, this character here has, um, let's just reset it, um, this character here actually uh, didn't have any animations, um, but the, um, the auto rig already had comes with animations. So if we just move these um, pole vectors out, out like this, should, um, if I press play, yep, he already has a walk cycle. Uh, it's basically using the um, auto generated walk cycle, which um, the uh, uh, Puppet 3D comes with. It's also like, uh, there's an idle. Uh, which will say so um you can you can have a um you can play around with like the uh the tweaking those animations you see there aren't that many keyframes it's quite easy with with this rig you can pretty much make very clean nice looking animations with very few keyframes which makes it much easier to manage say you've got a character which already has animations so um for example this um this character here let's just create a light um so you can see it um, so he's um, already got some mocap animations, um, it, it could have been animated by someone and I want to edit it then. So you see here, he's already got um, this, this idle, for example, but you see his feet are like sliding about, might want to fix that. So let's, let's have a look at what we can do with that. So what we do is just click, um, put him in the, in the pose, uh, um, put him in the pose and create mod rig. Um, and you see he's in that place, but you can see he's not moving with the animation. That's because he's, he's set to move with the control rig. But what you can do is um, set all of these uh, on and he'll blend to the um, to the mocap data. Um, but in our case, we don't want his feet to be um, using the mocap data because it looks pretty horrible. So all you need to do is just, just blend those guys back to the IK. And, that, and his feet are planted nicely on the ground. Um, uh, say I want to make a little animation from this, like make a scratch him scratch himself. So first, let's just turn off the bones. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to sort of go to the um, to, yeah, get his animation, and I'm going to duplicate it because you can't edit an animation um, from an FBX directly. And if I change it to I don't know, just say new or scratch it, even say let's say scratch. So we're going to make him scratch his head. So let's just bring that on. And um, let's go back to here and set it to scratch. There we go. So, um, so yeah, basically, yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going to blend uh, this arm to make him scratch his head. So firstly, let's just set a keyframe um, on his left arm. So add key there, and then over around here, let's say, um, oh, he's put it on, it's been record mode. Um, let's blend it to the IK. And, um, and then let's just set a keyframe on the control itself. So um, what we can do is uh, set uh, so add keys on the positions and the rotation. And we're going to just move move his hand up to um, basically scratch his head. You see, um, what's great about this is that um, you've got these kind of pole vectors, so you can um, you can set exactly where you want his. Um, his elbow to be facing as you're doing it. So he sort of just lifts his hands up like this. 
it's going to go, um, let's see, I think the keyframe's here at the bottom. So it's going to go here, yeah, and just, just a little scratch, and then move, move, oh, move up a bit, make it just scratch, maybe one more time. And then um, let's keyframe his, um, let's uh, set his keyframe of his rotation as well. So K, press K on. Oops. Just select that one, press K. And we're just going to blend it back to um, to here. So uh, let's copy that keyframe. Oops. So it is, oh no, it's this one. This keyframe is over here. So, um, and we want obviously his uh, pole vector bit to go back as well. Um, yeah, so just going to take that pole position, just copy it, key, keyframe it there. There you go. So, uh, I mean, this is very quick, rough animation. Ah, oh, you want to probably put pull this this over here, so he's um, so it's over there. There we go. So yeah, so he's just basically gone like that, and we can actually just like from here we can maybe blend blend it back to the um, FK, um, I mean to the um, mocap stuff. So we can just sort of select this key, oops, select this keyframe. Um, this is the um, left thing, and then we'll just kind of re re keyframe it back so he goes back to the um, to the mocap. So anyway, so that's just a quick way to sort of um, it's not it's not great animation but you know this is a very quick quick uh, demonstration you can um, basically tweak your uh, character as much as you want you can um, you'll see that you can um, play around with the body if you bl if you blend if you blend the body so if you keyframe this onto there then you can actually like you know you can start tweaking all of the you know the upper body however you like it so um, yeah that's basically how to use the mod rig um,